Hi guys, Dean Island Man here and we have got a tablet review for you today. This one is the Vodafone Smart Tab 2 and this is going to be our initial unboxing and first look. So let's crack this open and see what it's all about. So this is the box of the Vodafone Smart Tab 2 and as you can see it does a number of different things from taking pictures, you can record um, information as you were writing the book, it can be used as storage, watching films or just for relaxing to be honest with you. Round at the side you get a little bit of information but then you get some details about the tablet itself. So it's a 7 inch WS VGA touch panel and that's able to give a display of 1024 by 600. It's running Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. It's got Google Mobile Suite. It's 3G HSPA enabled, so you can use this on the go. And then it's got both front and rear facing cameras. And then it's got four gigabytes of user memory internally. Now you can pick up the Smart Tab 2 for £149 on page go from Vodafone or on a 24 month contract at £20 a month with the device costing £29 at the start. And with the box you're going to get a warranty card and also a quick start manual which has got all the information you're going to need to set up the device itself. And then you're going to get the Smart Tab 2 itself which you're going to have a more of a look at in just a second. Now one of the things that you will notice is that this device is a fingerprint magnet. Now I've been using this for a little while now and it has just picked up loads and loads of fingerprints. On the back you get this kind of texture type design. We put that to one side and there's nothing underneath here but inside this compartment you're going to get a USB to micro USB charging sync cable and then you're going to also get a cart charger brick which is going to be country specific to you. So we'll move all this to one side and then get the, the Vodafone Smart Tab 2 itself. Now as you can see this device is powered by Lenovo. Now this is a 7 inch multi-touch display and like I said it is running at that WS VGA capacity. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Round at the top you do have this front facing camera and that is just a 0 0.4 megapixel camera. No either capacitive buttons actually on the unit itself when it's turned off um, or physical buttons. Round at the side you just get two volume rocker switches just there. In the back you get this kind of texture design to help with the grip and also that camera. Now that's a two megapixel rear facing camera. Now with the buttons on the other side or bottom, round at the top you're going to get a microphone pickup, a three and a half pin jack, a micro USB charging and also your sleep wake or on off button and then if we just pull the top here inside here you can see that it takes a sim card and a micro sd card now that micro sd card um, will expand your capacity of the memory in here or storage of the memory i should say up to 32 gigabytes and you can probably tell also that this is taking a full sim in here as well now one thing i have noticed this top part is a little bit difficult to get back on and you kind of have to fiddle about with it there see just there we go all clipped back on you have to kind of fizzle about with it so here we go and this is the screen on the device now usually with Android devices you pull from the top to get that notification bar but this one you actually raise so we're just going to unlock it okay and we'll flick through here now the memory in here um, sorry, the battery life in here is a lithium ion um, battery and it's got 3550 milliamp hour battery in here, which should give you around seven hours worth of usage. It's got a one gigahertz processor in here and also one gigabyte of RAM. So, I mean, that processor does work fairly well when you're swiping across the screen, I have noticed. However, there is a bit of a delay when you rotate the device. See? It's not a fluid rotation like you get on some of them. It kind of jumps eventually. Okay, and then 
in some more videos later on we're going to do some camera tests and some usage tests once I've used this for a couple of weeks. Like I said, it does connect through 3G and also Wi-Fi as well and it takes that memory card. But overall, pretty nice device as a first look. This has been our review of the new Vodafone SmartTab 2, the 7 inch version. Thanks very much for watching and we will catch you real soon in the next one.